Secret. Welcome to Collie Biology. Today for Biology 112 we're going to be looking at the urinary system. The focus of the urinary system, the main organ associated with urine production, is the kidney. The kidney is very distinctive. Right and left they are kidney being shaped. And we've got two gorgeous endocrine glands, nice bumpy glandular tissue at the top, the superior aspect of each kidney. Those are the adrenal glands. Adrenal glands. We have a general term for the outer portion or the outer tissue of the kidney as the renal cortex. And then we have a general term for all of the inner structure, the inner tissue, that's the renal medulla. There are some blood vessels that feed each kidney, right and left. We have the renal artery, nice and red, bringing oxygenated blood into the kidney. And we have the renal vein, bringing deoxygenated blood away from the kidney. Well, the renal vein is going to connect up with the inferior vena cava, sending all the blood from below the heart back up to the heart itself. The tubes that ultimately drain the urine from the kidneys, each individual kidney, are the ureters or the ureters. Each ureter is going to connect into, right and left, the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is what stores the urine prior to micturation or voiding. The urinary bladder voids from the urethra. The urethra is literally the tube from the urinary bladder to the outside world. We have a single urethra. In females, that is completely separate from the re reproductive system. However, in males, the urethra is shared with the reproductive system. It runs down the length of the penis, and it carries not only urine from the urinary bladder, but in males, it also carries reproductive product, carries seminal fluid. We can look at a secondary model of the urinary system showing our big, gorgeous kidney. Once again, the outer structure is the cortex. The inner structures are the renal medulla. There's our renal artery coming in, our renal vein going out. We have the ureter draining the kidney, pulling the urine. On this particular portion, it shows each individual kidney, adrenal glands on top. Each tube, nice and yellow, is the ureter. Both of them drain into the urinary bladder. And from the bladder to the outside world is the single urethra. Okay, if we zoom in on this particular structure, this represents the nephron. What we're looking for specifically, anything red and blue in this particular portion of the model is blood vessel, peritubular capillary. What we're interested in is the structure of the nephron itself. Afferent and efferent blood vessels bring this big blob of blood, that's the glomerulus, surrounding the glomerulus, so this C-shaped, lighter peach color, that's Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule then transmits into this lighter pink series of tubes, and each of the, that lighter pink tube coming right off of Bowman's capsule, that's what we refer to as the proximal convoluted tubule. Proximal convoluted tubule becomes green. Green structure goes all the way down and then all the way back up. Makes a nice hairpin turn. That is the loop of Henle. Loop of Henle is nice and green. We come off of the green. Green transitions to a bright pink. The bright pink is the distal convoluted tubule. We follow the pathway of the distal convoluted tubule, and the bright pink becomes the yellow. Yellow represents the collecting duct. It's nice and yellow because we are collecting urine. That's the nephron.